Virtually all planning in business and government begins with a forecast of future condition. Although forecasts are always uncertain, they are typically communicated as seductively precise single average numbers. This leads to a class of systematic errors that I call the flaw of averages. It states that plans based on average assumptions are wrong on average. A classic example involves a statistician who drowns in a river that's on average three feet deep. But the flaw of averages also explains why so many things are behind schedule, below projection, and beyond budget. Consider a business meeting scheduled for 9 a.m., which cannot begin until all participants are present. Because each of the attendees has a history of being on time on average, it is reasonable to assume that the meeting will start on time. But actually, there's only one chance in a thousand of a 9 a.m. start. Think of it this way. If each person has a 50-50 chance of being a little early or a little late, then the chance that they all arrive by 9 a.m. is the same as flipping 10 heads in a row. All it takes is one tail and the meeting starts late. The flaw of averages ensures that the average starting time is later than the average arrival times of the participants. This explains why plans based on averages are so often behind schedule. Now let's explore why so many things are below projection. Imagine that you are ordering electronic equipment six months in advance of the Christmas selling season. There's a profit margin of $10 per unit. Demand is uncertain, but the marketing department forecasts sales of 100,000 units as an average. So in keeping with the forecast, you order 100,000. When the boss says, give me a number for projected profit, you say, I can't be sure because demand is uncertain. But the average profit must be the $10 profit margin times the average demand of 100000 or $1 million. Let's see. If demand is less than average, profit will be less than $1 million. On the other hand, if demand is greater than average, uh-oh, you only ordered 100,000 units, so there is no upside in the event of above average demand. $1 million isn't the average profit at all, but the maximum possible profit. In this example, the flaw of averages guarantees that the average profit is less than the profit of the average demand. So why are so many things beyond budget? Imagine that you are managing the inventory of a critical pharmaceutical with a limited shelf life. You have estimated your operating costs based on average monthly requirements. But if actual requirements fall below the average, you will be forced to discard any drugs that have expired. On the other hand, if requirements exceed the average, you will be compelled to express ship the additional quantities to save lives. This is a double whammy. The average cost is greater than the cost of the average requirements. In the next video, I will show how probability management can cure the flaw of averages by capturing the uncertainties in forecasts instead of sweeping them under the rug. Please visit us at www.probabilitymanagement.org to learn more and to support this important nonprofit effort.